Hey friend, recently I posted a video on how to play in the style of Mississippi John Hurt. Now this style of finger picking acoustic blues is so fun to play, especially if you're jamming alone. You don't need a backing track, you don't need a looper pedal, you don't even need electricity if you're doing it on acoustic guitar. Now the first video was all about training your thumb your finger picking hand thumb. And what you want to do is start getting it going automatic like this. Just having that thumb go independently of the other fingers. And then what you do is you start bringing in other notes with your index, your middle, your ring, and, and all your other fingers if you want other than your thumb. And that would sound like this. So this is a blues in the key of D. And I'll just play real quick the progression just to review. We've got a 2-4 time signature and we're in the key of D. We got a D like this, a G, and an A. For the D, we're gonna go one and two and two, three, four, then go to G, two bars, then back to D, then A, to D. So that's the bass line. Now what we're going to do is add in this melody and it starts on the second fret of the third string. We're going to start on the and of two. So we're going to go like one and two and there's our alternating bass. We're going to start like that, pinching the fourth and third strings together. And then we'll pinch five and the third string together like this, keeping that second fret there. Again, I'm just gonna hold down this D chord. Okay, then we're gonna slide in into the D chord while plucking that fifth string. Fourth string, then third fret on the second string. So that's the first part there. Okay, now notice that my thumb is just doing this. Okay, now we get to the next bar and we're gonna go. Okay, that's the fifth string. Then I play that D and I lift off that second fret. So it's the fifth string, open first string, fourth string, then second string. Then pinch five and one, second string, then here, end with a pinch and a hammer on. So. Okay, that's hammering on into the second fret there. Now all of this is going over a blues, and if you haven't learned your blues scale yet, I wanna give you something that's gonna really help you out with that. It's gonna show you how to master the blues scale anywhere on the neck. And what it is, is my blues scale PDF guide, which you can get completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blues scales, or you can click the first link down below. And it's gonna show you the five patterns that I use to master that scale anywhere on the neck. It's gonna help you out with just learning the fretboard and playing songs like this. So measure two is. Again, still alternating the bass, right? You see, we're gonna play the exact same bass line as we did in the previous lesson. That's why it's so important to practice the bass line and then add the melody on top. So. Okay, and then we're gonna pinch here five and two, and then just do the bass. Okay, so it's one and two and, then we're gonna go. Okay, now this is leading us to the G chord, so. Here I play the fifth string, hammer into the second fret on the first string, fourth string, second string. 
and then pinch five and one with that open now. Then the second string, then pinch four and one. So. See, sometimes the melody notes are lining up with the thumb, and then sometimes they're falling in the cracks of the beats, like this. One, E and a, two, E and a. Okay, then we go to the G chord here. I'm sort of doing a lazy G, right? I'm just doing two fingers there of the G. We're gonna go. Okay, that's pinching six and two. Then play the fourth string, first string, sixth string, fourth string. So, again, just alternating there with the bass. And then, Okay, this is G going back to D. We'll play the bass note, sixth string, then the second string, but we're gonna lift it open, so. Get that little walking melody, like. See that? Okay, that there is the sixth string, third fret open second string, fourth string, then put that third fret down on the second string, sixth string, back to open second string, open fourth string, then second fret on the third string like this. Okay, now I'm back to alternating there, so. Okay, so all of this part going to G here Then we'll go. Another thing that Mississippi John Hurt would do all the time is slide into that D. So here I'm playing the fifth string, slide into D by playing the first string there. It's a little bit of a brush. Then fourth string, first string, fifth string, second string, then end with a pinch there on four and one. All right, backing up from the G. All right, that's the first eight bars. Let's put it all together. Remember, we're starting on the and of two. We're going to go one and two and one. Here we go, I'll count us in. One and two. All right, here we get to the turnaround. We're gonna bring in that long A chord we're gonna play. Okay, so this is A, I'm gonna play five, four, five, four with the thumb, and then the melody is just one E and a, one E and a, two A. Okay, that's it. So real slowly, that's pinching five and three, then play the fourth string, then the first string, fifth string, fourth string. Okay, then here, we jump back to the D and go. And it's just getting that melody there. Play the fifth string open, slide into the D again. Then play the fourth string, first string, fifth string, second string, then pinch four and one with the first string open and hammer to the second fret. So and then pinch five and two. Now here we're gonna go and bring in that varying bass line that we talked about in the previous lesson. So that would go. Okay, that's pinching. Five and two, play the fourth string, then play the second fret on the sixth string, then the fourth string. Like that. 
All right, so backing up to the turnaround here, back to the A, we go. Then in the last measure, we have just five, four, five, four with the thumb, but we're gonna play in between that open two, two on the third string like this. Five, open third string, fourth string, third string, fifth string, third string, fourth string. So backing up. From the A. Then we're back to the top. That's all 12 bars. So let's put it together slowly, get set, and I'll count us in. One, and two. Now a little quicker, here we go. One, two. So there you have it. That's how to play a 12 bar blues in the style of Mississippi John Hurt. Be sure to take it bar by bar. And remember that going back to that first lesson and really working on the bass line is really gonna help you when you start adding in the melody. The stronger that foundation is, the easier adding in the melody is. And if you wanna start jamming riffs like this anywhere on the neck, be sure to grab my free blues scale PDF guide. So many of these classic melodies that you hear Mississippi John Hurt play or these you know, country blues and delta blues style players is they're dipping into the blues scale. So you wanna make sure you know that and have it worked out on your fretboard. And I can help you with that. It's completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash bluescales and grab that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And for more blues guitar, check out this video next.